Okay, welcome back, everybody. Um, I've got a few softwares, so I'm gonna try use them now. So um, today I'm gonna do the song um, "You Are the Pillar That Holds My Life." I think it's by Sipongwe. Uh, I don't know his name really. <laughs> yeah, but something great. So I was asked to do the song. I listened to it. I never really got to check it out, but I have an idea of how it goes. The song is in the key of F. So this one is for beginners and intermediate really. Um, I believe if you stick around, if you're an intermediate player and you stick around, there's something for everybody to learn. So let's get into the song. So it goes... Uh That's the first move. Um, where the lady sings... Okay, so let's break it. Let's break that down. It's the first chord is the one chord, which is F, but I'm voicing the F like this. Actually, let me give you the skeleton first. I'm going to assume that it, you are a total beginner, and then um, let's build up from the total beginner's perspective. So it's F. You are the pillar that holds. So F, the F major chord, which is F, C, F, and A, right? Then you go to the B flat. Um, actually, not the B flat. You go to that chord, okay? It is B flat over D, which is basically just playing two B flats, really. So let's say, let's call it a B-flat. So your left hand is playing a B-flat major and your right hand is playing a B-flat major. If you, don't, if you can't hold it the way I'm holding it, you can do this. So your left hand will play D and F, your right hand will play B-flat, D, F, and B-flat. Okay. Or you can just play the same way. Your left hand will play the exact same notes as your right hand. As you can see the way I'm holding it. So I won't call out the notes because it's the exact same notes um, that I just called out. So you are the pillar that holds my love. Okay. So what they're doing is one, six, seven. That's all they're doing for that part. You are the pillar that holds my love. Okay, so now let's go to the interesting part. For intermediate players, you can do this. Okay, what is that? So I'm grace, I'm playing grace note from the G to the A. Because I'm keeping the melody of the song, right? So I go you So when you do this, you can either play it from the F or from the G. And then you arpeggiate, you play this arpeggio. If you don't want to play the arpeggio and you can really stretch, you can play it like this. Okay? So that's F, C, G, and A. If you're going to arpeggiate, include the F. Like, or you can skip the F as well. You can add that one, the B, but it's gonna sound a bit off. Okay, so let's let me demonstrate slowly. Another option. You just play in a B flat add two chord. Okay. 
So it's a B flat at two or B flat at nine. Depends how you look at it. I'll say B flat at two. Okay. Yeah. Because it's the exact same notes. But if you're going to be technical, it's a B flat at nine. Okay. So again, slowly, one more time. So that's you are, you are the one that opens my mouth. Or you can do this. the B flat, C, okay, D minor, F, and then the C sus, sus 2, okay, which is the one we used for here, so we're using the same card. So you're doing all the, this walk up, while you hold the six. So let me show you. Okay. So then we have the Master Jesus, you are. So that part is. Oh, let me start with uh, the beginners. Part. Okay, so if you're a beginner, you can walk down like this. Marks, stars, stars, so let me give you the note. F major, which is your left hand F, your right hand C, F and A. Suspended two, okay, or C at nine depends how you look at it. So let's call it a C suspended two over E. So your left hand is E, your right hand is the C sus two, okay. Then D minor, okay. Um, so that's a D minor seven. If you're gonna be technical, let me just call out the notes. <laughs> left hand D. Right hand A, C and F. Left hand C, right hand G, C, B. We go to the B flat. It's it's basically a B flat chord. Drop two. Okay? Because you're dropping the two and you're playing again. Or you can include it if you want to. Same thing, master. Oh, sorry, master. Now you play it over the two, the exact same chords B flat over the two, which is your G. So there you have C in the right hand, you have B flat. C, D, and F. Then you just drop the thumb. And you let go of the D. Okay? So you have your left hand, you have F, your right hand, you get A, C, F. So if you want to learn something interesting, you'll go, uh, let's start with this one. Same thing, but voicing it differently.
So let me break that down. Okay, not to confuse you, I'm gonna show you the left hand first, then I'll add the right hand. So my left hand I'm playing F, C, F and G. Then my right hand I'm playing A, D, E and A. Okay, because if I press down the notes together, it gets confusing. Okay, so you get the left hand and you got the right hand. So you have the left hand I'm playing E, C and D. Right hand I'm playing G, C, D, G. Left hand I'm playing D, B flat and C. Right hand I'm playing F, B flat, C and F. Left hand I'm playing C, G, C. Right hand I'm playing E, A, B and E. Then the B flat. Left hand I'm playing B flat, F, C and D. Right hand I'm doing this. Which is F to D. But I'll, I'm going to grace note to the D from the C. Which will be D, D, it's D flat and D. I'm sorry, C, D flat and D, or C sharp. You are the pillar that holds. You're going to do this. Uh, left hand is C, E flat, C, E, G, B flat. Right hand is a grace note from the D to the E. Then you're going to walk back to the C sharp. Then you do this. Okay, so when you walk back after this, so you're walking back, your left is playing the A major chord, which is A, C sharp, and E. And you walk from the E to the D flat. Then you go to the 6. You do this. It makes it sound... It sounds cool. You sound cooler, you know? <laughs> so my left hand I'm playing D and F. My right hand I'm moving from this. It is A, D, F to to G, C, and E. Left hand, right hand. Then again, you do the same movement. You can do this or that. So the same walk down, but when you get to the two, you're playing G, D, B flat, right hand F, B flat, C, and F. You are the pillar that holds. And then you do this. After the two, you can voice the two like this, you can voice it like that. So the only difference is that I'm playing the B flat with my thumb, or I'm playing the A with my thumb, okay? Then you get to do this. flat 
that into D, E, and T. Then you tap this E, the F. You can just go straight to the B flat, but it's nicer when you pass through the G. to the song six seven show you for the song. Trying to keep it short. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's the same walk from the one um, to the four. Okay, so you go. So your left hand is playing F, A, C, F. Your right hand is Playing the grace note to the A. So your left hand E C D. Then your right hand taps the C and the, to the G. Then back to the C. Then F. Your right hand taps the F. Then back to C. and goes to E and back to C then B flat okay <laughs> so let me call out the notes the left hand is E let me show you what I'm doing with my right hand first then I'll show you the, the, the difficult part which is the left hand so the right hand is just doing this Tapping, my left hand is playing this F A C E or F A C F. Okay, face. <laughs> so it's face, then E C D D B flat C.
that's it. You're done the song. Uh, happy learning. Wish you all the best. <laughs>